Hello friends. The question asked in exam like this. Analyze the continuous beam by using three moment theorem. This is the type three questions in which the one end is fixed support and one is hinge. So question asked like this. We know that for calculating bending moment, we have a first step. First step was the free bending moment diagram. This is calculated for each span. Here is span A B for span B C and for C D. For span A B, the bending moment at E equals to P A B by L. So by putting value like P A B by L, we get the sixteen point six zero kilonewton. For span B C, the bending moment at F equals to w l square by 8 so by putting value w here l square by 8 we get a 16.2 kilonewton similarly for span c d the bending moment at g equals to p a b by l by putting value p 60 into 2 into 3 by 5 we get a 72 kilonewton meter we know that the second step was the free bending moment diagram. In this step, we had to calculate the free bending moment diagram in terms of diagrammatic form. So what value we are calculated here that the bending moment at E, F and G just to represent this value diagrammatically here. So we know that for a point load, the free bending moment diagram is triangle. For UDL it is parabola and for point load it is triangle. So in this diagram we have to calculate the area here. So we note that the area of triangle is half into base into height. Here height is taken at 106.67. So by calculating this we get area that is 320.01. XL is the distance of centroid of this from A and XR is the distance of centroid from B. So we know that this is calculated as A plus L. L is a distance by 3. So by calculating this, this is the distance of centroid of this triangle from A. That is 2.67. What we calculated here. And distance of centroid of that triangle from B is B plus L by 3 so it is 3.33 that is XR the same this is parabola this is a pre-bending moment diagram for UDL so area of parabola is 2 by 3 base that is BC into height that is 62.5 by calculating this we get the area that is 208.33 XR and XL as a centroid of this parabola from its left and from right end so this is symmetric about this axis that's why 2.5 XL and XR equals to 2.5 this is also the triangle and we know that the area of triangle is half into base into height So by putting this we get the area of this triangle that is 180 and similarly the dis XL is the distance of centroid of this triangle from C that is we know that A plus L by 3 by calculating value we get XL equals to 2.33 and for calculating XR it is 3 plus 5 by 3 so it is 2.67. So we know that the third step was the application of three moment theorem on each span. Here we are taking a span for A dash A B. Here is a fixed support that's why we extend this beam further. This is the assumption that is A dash is a simply supported. So we calculated for this A dash A B means for span A dash A B. So this is a bending moment equation that is 
एम ए प्लस एल वन प्लस ट्वाइस एम ए एल वन प्लस एल टू प्लस एम बी एल टू प्लस सिक्स ए वन एक्स वन बाय वन प्लस सिक्स ए टू एक्स टू बाई एल टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वी नो दैट द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एट ए डैश मेयर हिज दिस इज द सिंपलीस्ट ऑपरेटेड दैट्स वाई द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एट दिस पॉइंट इज जीरो सो डायरेक्टली वी पुट जीरो हेयर टू एम ए एल वन दिस इज द लेंथ ऑफ ए डैश टू ए सो दिस इज जीरो बिकॉज दिस इज अजम्स एंड एल टू इज डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ए टू बी सो डायरेक्टली पुट दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन वी गॉड ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व पॉइंट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट जीरो एम ए प्लस सिक्स एम बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन जीरो सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री पुट इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन सिमिलरली दिस बेंडिंग मूवमेंट इक्वेशन इज अप्लाइड फॉर स्पैन ए बी सी means for span a b c so this is formula just put the value what we known here l1 l1 l2 6 a1 x1 by l1 what we calculated from this diagram and 6 a2 x2 by l2 what we calculated from this diagram just put value and rearrange this we get the 6 ma plus 22 mb plus 5 mc equals to minus 1 Four seven nine point three nine. Put it as equation number two. Similarly, here for span B C D, the same bending moment equation is used, and we know the all value that is L one, L two, A one X one L one, A two X two L two. Just put the value and rearrange the equation. That is, we got five MB plus twenty MC equals to minus. One two zero one point seven one. Put it as equation number three. Solve these equations by by using simultaneous equation. We get the MA equals to minus seventy point six kilonewton. MB equals to minus thirty six point four zero three kilonewton meter, and MC equals to minus fifty point nine eight kilonewton meter. So here we calculated the movement at each support. Fourth step was the calculation of reaction. This step is useful for calculation of shear force diagram. So, for this, we know that for calculating shear force diagram, we have to know the support reaction at each support. Therefore, for calculating the support reaction at R D, we have to take a moment at C. So, this is let's take a positive as a clockwise as positive. And summation of moment at C equals to zero. We got this by just simplifying this equation. We get the value at R D, that is thirteen point eight zero four kilonewton. The similar procedure is used for remaining span. That is for span reaction at R C. We have to take a moment at B. Similarly, this equation is arise. We know the value of R D from this. Just Solve this equation. We get the twenty three point five one one kilonewton. R C. So for R A, taking moment at B, and for B, the sum is it is total downward force and this is total upward force. The remaining force that is R B here we calculate. And fifth, and the last step was the bending moment diagram. This was the main step. What we calculated. This is a question what given and this is the free bending moment diagram what we calculated by the free moment so bending moment is that this is free bending moment diagram what we calculated earlier from this and this is are the bending moment this is bending moment at a this value is come from this that is 70.6 bending moment at b is minus 36.403 And bending moment at C equals to minus fifty point nine eight. So just join this and mark this portion of this diagram. This is the final bending moment diagram. What we want, and this is the shear force diagram. This is calculated by the support reaction. So here the fifty nine point zero three kilonewton is come from this because this is the reaction at A. So simply just by putting the reaction value, we know to calculate the shear force diagram. Thank you.